Where's Hal, mean friend, and welcome to another video. This is probably, no, most certainly uh, the biggest news of 2023 so far. But not the most positive, not the greatest. It's actually the opposite, the most negative news of 2023. They are going to revamp the Lord of the Rings movies. We knew that would happen, didn't we? I have been talking about it for a long time. Every time I was talking about the Rings of Power, I said, well, they are not going to remake the Lord of the Rings yet, with the emphasis of the yet. And if you think that this is a good idea... You are either a nitwit or very, very naive, and you should go and rethink your lives, my dear friends. So that which we thought would happen did happen, and uh, we've got a news here. Hot news exclusive by Variety.com. And what should I say? What, what more can I say than this is the end of times? If you've been following my channel for quite some time, you know that I have devoted a huge part of my personal and academic life to the works of Professor Tolkien. Both my bachelor thesis and my master thesis were written on Tolkien. I've published multiple articles on Tolkien and I have been influenced by the professor in my own writing. Of course, of course I have. In, in, in my career in general, how can I possibly be excited about this idea in this day and age, in 2023 on? How can you possibly expect The Lord of the Rings to be made into a good movie again? Now, how stupid, how dumb, how absolutely idiotic do you have to be to think so? And the same way I have been talking about the rings of power i will be talking about this i don't care who makes it i belong among the people who do not have any faith in the war of the rohirrim that is coming next year let us dive into the article then it's very short fortunately and then i will provide you with a further take of man and why why can't it possibly be good and you will go back to this video in a couple of years if it's still up and you will say European law was right, he was correct the same way he was right about the Rings of Power. One of the first videos on my channel is called something like Why the Lord of the Rings by Amazon Cannot Be Good. All right then. New Lord of the Rings movie set at Warner Brothers. Jesus Christ. To think I have lived to see this is very grim times. Warner Brothers Pictures is revamping the Lord of the Rings film franchise on a Thursday earnings call, Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav announced that newly installed studio leaders Mike DeLuca and Pam Abdi have brokered a deal to make multiple films based on the beloved J.R.R. Tolkien books. The project will be developed through uh, WB label New Line Cinema. The first Lord of the Rings trilogy helmed by Peter Jackson grossed nearly $3 billion worldwide. Jackson's follow-up trilogy based on Tolkien's The Hobbit matched those grosses. Now that was over 20 years ago, my dear friends. This was a very different time. The world has changed. I can feel it in the water. I can smell it in the end. So, so on and so forth. It is true. The world is not the same it was 20 years ago. The world is a vile and grim and dark place. It, all, it has always been like that. But it, it is even more psychotic today. No, no. If anything like this happens, it will be an agenda pushing diversity, inclusion, representation garbage that is being made poorly because everybody's just, just cutting corners today. The, the Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien is a traditional, romantic, old, conservative uh, work of art that are not being done these days anymore by the mainstream entertainment industry. You cannot expect anything to make this justice. No filmmakers have been attached to the project as yet, but in a statement to Variety, Jackson and his main Lord of the Rings collaborators, Fran Walsh and Philippa Boenzen, said Warner Brothers and Embracer have kept us in the loop every step of the way. We look forward to speaking with them further to hear their vision for the franchise moving forward, Jackson, Walsh and Boyan said. 
Primo, a division of Embracer Group, made the adaptive rights deal for the books, including Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. The pact will be built under the name Middle Earth Enterprises. Notably, DeLuca and Abdi left MGM last year to take the helm of Warner Brothers. Their exit followed the acquisition of MGM by Amazon. The tech giant owns the TV rights to The Lord of the Rings and produced a single season of television at the gut-busting price of over $450 million in 2022. And we know what it's like. Following our recent acquisition of Middle Earth Enterprises, we're thrilled to embark on this new collaborative journey with New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers Pictures, bringing the incomparable world of J.R.R. Tolkien back to the big screen in new and exciting ways. A red flag right there. Said Lee uh, Gwynchard, a CEO of Free Mode. We understand how cherished these works are and working together with our partners at New Line Cinema and Warner Brothers Pictures, we plan to honor the past, look to the future and adhere to the strongest level of quality and production values. Deluca and Abdi recall that New Line had previously look, uh, took an unprecedented leap of faith to realize the incredible stories, characters and world of The Lord of the Rings on the big screen. But for all the scope and detail lovingly packed into the two trilogies, the vast, complex and dazzling u- universe dreamed up by J.R.R. Tolkien remains largely unexplored. Another flag, red flag right there. Everything has to be a universe, everything has to be a multiverse. And mainly, there are so many places that are unexplored. So, for example, the LGBTQ background of Frodo and Sam, right? I'm sure, I'm sure something like that will be added. Not may- Maybe not specifically Frodo and Sam, but I, I will put my left ball in a, f- in, in a pit of fire. That that will happen. Inaugural projects and timelines were not immediately disclosed. The first Jackson trilogy starred Elijah Wood and yada, yada, yada. We all know that. So, once again, we have found ourselves in the, uh, well, the end of the world. At at least uh, the end of world we know uh, and uh, the end of the entertainment industry as we know it. Uh, the traditional values are gone. Uh, staying faithful to the source material is gone. Love for for books, love for literature, love for traditional, uh, not only storytelling, but ways of life are gone. And uh, all that remains is Sodoma and Gomorrah of uh, manners. And uh, that is being reflected in uh, art. That is being reflected in the entertainment that we are consuming today. And that is being reflected in what people think about it. And this um, abhorrent news is going to be praised by all the simpletons and sheep and clapping clapping seals all over the internet. This is inevitable. This is going to divide uh, people a lot. And uh, I urge you, stand your ground and uh, go and read the books. And that's all that you can do, really. That's all that you need uh, to do as far as uh, the, the Professor Tolkien goes. Really all you need to do. You don't need anything else. You don't need any new films. You don't need any new TV shows. You don't need any new video games. You don't need any new anime films. You don't need it. Go and read the books. You finished, reread them. You finished, go and read other books. There are thousands of good books written. Thousands of great films made. You don't need any new, crappy, crippled The Lord of the Rings content. All right, then. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. There will, of course, be more development and more videos. Namariya.